There are over a hundred optics in Modern Warfare 3 and I'm going to be using every single one of them to figure out which one is the best and which one is the worst. My name is Dallas for Cybers. Thank you for clicking on to the video guys. Like I said, we're using every optic in the game and there's a hundred of them. There's way too many. So we're going to narrow it down to the best ones. So stay tuned for that. We're using the STG, a standard class. Only thing changing is the optic starting here with the Jack Bullseye. We're giving away a copy of Black Ops 6 when we hit 600 subscribers. So make sure you subscribe, hit that like button. Let's get right into it. The, the bullseye is okay. It's nice visual, but I just, the recoil pattern on this thing is not good in my opinion. Overall, 6 out of 10. The MSP-12 optic is also very nice as well. It's got a built-in laser, and honestly, it's kind of clean overall in my opinion. I kind of like it, man. In all honesty, it's just like a simple red dot, but it's got the laser attachment. So if you like it, good. 7 out of 10. The Jack Glassless Optic is going to be our first 10 out of 10 optic here in this video. Man, there's nothing to argue. 10 out of 10. Love the way this looks. Let me know if you disagree in the comments below. Let's get to the next one. We got the NRG4. Honestly, not a terrible optic. I think it's pretty run in the mill. I think it'd be good in uh, like old school type Warzone vibes it's giving me. But I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10 overall kind of a thick scope but it's got a nice optic range and I actually did pretty good with it so I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 10. The TPS intercepted kind of a weird optic I'm not gonna lie it's also thermal I like the fact that it's thermal and it's the orange outline that's my favorite type of thermal in this game but it, the shape is too crazy 4 out of 10 man this thing is man this thing's weird man I don't know the Intless Cast 14 is another very weird optic as well, but it's actually kind of nice. I don't know what it is about it. It comes with that built-in laser, and I was just slaying with this thing, bro. So honestly, give me a 7 out of 10 for this optic. This is pretty nice. Now we got the LSJ3, another very solid optic that I was very surprised by. This thing also has the built-in laser, but it's not as, like, visible as the other ones and I like the crosshairs on this this thing's nice man give it a 7 out of 10 as well the slate reflector we're not gonna spend too much time on it it's a classic this thing's nice 8 out of 10 optic here let's get to the next one the ERX 10 mini is got to be the worst optic so far on this list giving a 3 out of 10 the boxy look is just way too much for this and then it's just no magnification no nothing uh, yeah, 3 out of 10 in my opinion. The Moore's Dot Sight reminds me of the MK3, but worse in a way. There's no magnification and it's the same, small, but it's smaller, it's smaller. And with that being said, 5 out of 10 optic, it just needs to be bigger, more prominent, which is kind of weird saying being most optics are bad because they're big and bulky. Back to a decent optic, we have the Slimline Pro. This is pretty good overall. I think you can use this on almost any AR and SMG. Very nice. Like I said, it's slim and it's for the pros, baby. Give me a 7 out of 10 on this optic. Pretty good. The SZ Mini is not a terrible optic for its size, but the reticle kills it, man. I hate these small red dot reticles with the crossing. I, I absolutely hate these. This is getting a 4 out of 10 in my opinion, man. What do you guys think? The Cronin Mini Dot is pretty good as well. Nice clear lens with a blue dot in the middle. Honestly, this is a great optic to use overall. And you know what? I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Very nice classic look. Now we have the Cronin Mini Pro, slightly different, but slightly better as well. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. One of my favorite optics from MW2 that transferred over. Man, there's way too many optics in this game, but yeah, 8 out of 10, this is a good optic. Next, we got the Sigma 4, and this one is going to get a 5 out of 10. Pretty average optic. I'm not a big fan of these square designs, but it's a clean lens, and I kind of fuck with it, honestly. The Mini Tag 40 is another one of those square-ish optics I'm not too big of a fan of. I think it's a little beefier too. So because of that, I gotta bring it down to a 4 out of 10. Just not a fan favorite, man. I'm, I'm not a big fan of these optic sights that block so much of the middle, man. It, it's kind of hard to use. Next, we got the Mini Tag 40 riser. This just got worse, bro. What are we doing? 
Give me a 3 out of 10 on this. One of the worst optics in the game so far, man. What is, what is this? Come on now. The Spectre Micro Thermo brings on the tradition so far we got of bad optics. A boxy optic with the white thermo. I hate it. 4 out of 10. The only reason it's a little higher than the riser is because... You know, it's thermal, so it, it helps out a little bit, but man, it's bad. Over 100 optics in the game, it's crazy. We got so many bad optics. This one's not terrible. This is the OTG Reflex. I'm going to give it a simple 5 out of 10. It's pretty average. I'm not going to lie. Let's get to the next one. The Caucus Reflex reminds me of those Black Ops 1 type red dots that we got, but not as good. Bringing it down to a 5 out of 10 because of the, the red dot, man. I hate the crosshairs. The Nadar Model 2023, another great optic that we've got in the game. I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10 clean optic as well. Love it on an SMG too. You can't go wrong with this optic. Back-to-back -back great optics, the MK3, a classic staple in this game, a 9 out of 10 optic. This is just so good of a, oh my god, I just can't. This is the one I use honestly the most. It's a 9 out of 10. We're getting dragged back down with the Dragon's Eye Optic, in my opinion, a 4 out of 10. Boxy, I just too much of covering the screen. Terrible, terrible reticle, man. Get me out of here, 4 out of 10. The Quarter Classic Reflex Sight looks exactly like the Cronin Mini Dot, so it's got to get a 6 out of 10. You can't complain about it. It's pretty solid. Let's get to the next one. The XRK on point optic, another middle of the pack type optic, little bulkier on the sides than the bottom, gonna have to bring it down to about a 4 out of 10. Yeah, that sounds about right, 4 out of 10. Next up we have the SZ Lone Wolf, not a fan of this optic in my opinion, it's gotta do with the reticle and how much space it takes up. We're gonna give it a 4 out of 10, guys. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Like I said, we're giving away a copy of Black Ops 6 when we hit 600 subscribers. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments below. What's your favorite optic? Let's get right into the next one. The Kazan Hollow is up next, and I'm actually kind of a fan of it. It's a little small in my opinion, which is contradictory of how I don't like the bigger optics. But I think this is pretty good. I'm going to give it a solid 6 out of 10. I love the green reticle. This is the SZ Battle Optic, and it's kind of middle of the run. It's very similar to just the standard red dot, like the classic, but it's got that green reticle. I kind of like that. I think that brings it up just a little bit to a 5 out of 10. It's not the best. It's kind of mid. The Corvus Downrange Optic is another one of those mid-tier optics, in my opinion. Just a little too bulky, a little too square. I'm not a big fan of the circle reticle as it is. I'm going to give this a solid... Honestly, a light 4 out of 10. It could definitely be better, but it can definitely be worse. I feel this video is going to be a little repetitive with how many mid to low tier optics there are. This is the X10 Angel 40, another mid tier optic. I'm giving it a 4 out of 10. Let's move on to the next one. Slight upgrade here with the SZ Hollow Therm. This is a thermal optic with the orange essence in it. I kind of like that. I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit of an upgrade, but not too much. It's still bulky, and I just hate the way it looks. 5 out of 10. Finally, we get a good optic. This is the AW Gen 1 optic. This is straight from Advanced Warfare, and it's got the ammo count on it as well, which I do think brings it down a little bit, but this is still a good optic. A 7 out of 10, one of the higher rated optics in this game. Bringing it back down is the Paro ELT, another mid-tier bulky optic, and I'm just not a fan. The green red dot, I fuck with. I promise you, I love that. I don't like the extra lines at the bottom, and then it's just bulky, man. 4 out of 10, in my opinion. We got an even worse optic, the Mortis Precision. It is, look, just look at that thing. This is terrible. I, I don't even know what to say, man. This is a 3 out of 10 optic. The reticle itself isn't bad, but look at how much stuff is on the outside, man. I hate that. 3 out of 10. Move on to the next one. The Eagle's Eye is one of those top tier optics in the game, and everyone was rocking, especially in Warzone. This was definitely a top tier optic. I am bouncing back and forth on my rating. I'm going to give it a 8 out of 10. It's almost a 9, though. This is the part of the video where we go on a string of very mid-tier optics. Right here we have the SL True Sight. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. 
bulky kind of clean optic but we're gonna keep moving it on another mid-tier optic the hollow craft a four out of ten terrible like i don't know shape this is just a weird shape to look at especially ads like come on what are we doing like i said another mid-tier optic let's keep it moving five out of ten for the marauder nine riser another weird optic that's just kind of big and more vertical than anything not a big fan of it but we're gonna keep moving forward what do we say the thing is mid this is another mid tier optic another thermal optic here this is the taz nightfall optic the white ah, i hate the white thermal i'm not even gonna lie it's too old school for me it's ah, it's just so mid bro all of these optics are mid most mid optic game of all time five out of ten let's move on to the next one the rq9 recon another mid tier optic there's nothing special about these optics we're gonna give this one a four out of ten i just don't like the way it looks the way it feels another mid tier optic but guess what guys we are going down even lower than mid this is the tx4 havoc this is probably one of the worst optics in the game this is a two out of ten optic like guys Look at this thing! Look at this thing! This thing is terrible looking. This thing takes up literally one third of your screen. This is fucking terrible, bro. Two out of ten. A classic optic from MW2. This is the VLK 4.0. Another pretty good optic here. It's a little wide in the new MW3 look, but it's still pretty good. I'm going to give it a six out of ten. We're starting to go up. Hopefully, we can stay in that higher echelon of optics. An optic that was actually surprisingly good for me, the Schlagler, <laughs> the Schlag, what is this, the Shagler, the Schlagler 3.4 optic, this is actually a very clean optic, it's not as good as the Eagle's Eye, but it's pretty up there, 7 out of 10, man, let's go on to this next one here, this is the Forge Delta, another solid optic, man, some of these are pretty good, let's give it a 6 out of 10, another very clean optic to use in, it's just a little bulky on the side, but we're not we're not a, we're not opposed to it. It's pretty good. Now let's move on to the zero P optic. This has got to be a five out of ten. It's just it's too short. It's too bulky at the same time. We're gonna bring that down to a five out of ten. It's not terrible though. And then honestly, it, you could get some work done with this optic, but it's not one of those top tier optics. And then finally. We're going to be going to the SZ Bullseye, similar to the Jack Bullseye. It's going to be a lot lower to the ground, lower to the ground, lower to the op, the gun. Oh my God, bro. I've been, th this video is taking a toll on me. Solid, solid optic. We're going to go six out of 10 for this optic as well. The aim OP optic and OG here on the channel and for Call of Duty. One of my favorites from Warzone, especially another great optics here. We're going to be rolling with a 7 out of 10 for this optic. Like I said, it's a favorite for sure. And I'm probably going to use it here in the future. I don't know. Let's try it out. But next up, we have the DF-105. Actually, another solid optic. Back-to-back -back solid optics. You don't see that very often. Here, we're going to give it a 6 out of 10. Like I said, nice optic. Nice, uh, nice lens on it. And you know what? it gets the job done and that's really what you need for an optic but next up we're gonna go with the monocle g90 or i'm sorry it's the, yeah it's the g90 and uh you know what i'm a fan of this i don't know what it is i rock with this optic i'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 it's about on par with that aim op but a little it's a little unique with it i i kind of shred with it i'm not gonna lie Next, we're going to be going down a little bit with the Soul 760, and I'm not a big fan of it. Some of these optics just look too bulky on the gun, and that's the case here. I don't know if it's just the STG that it looks bulky on, but that's the gun we're using for everyone, so it's the exact same. That one gets a 5 out of 10. Moving on to the Recharge DX, another 5 out of 10 here. Back-to-back -back 5 out of 10s nothing really specific with this gun the lens cap at the top is kind of selling it i'm not gonna lie very obstructing of the view but overall it's not a bad optic so it's a five out of ten this optic here is the rex pro and this is another very solid optic in my opinion we're gonna go a six out of ten for this one here 
I like the zoom that you get from it and it's not too obstructing in my opinion but it could definitely be upgraded for sure so I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10 what do you guys think about this video so far let me know in the comments below next up we got the KR V4 riser I hate these riser optics and because of that it's gonna be a 4 out of 10 these optics just take up way too much space on my screen and it's just way too vertical and I just I'm not a fan man I'm not a fan let me know if you are but next up we have the Koros hold another terrible terrible optic this is oh my this might be up there for most terrible optic we're giving this one a 2 out of 10 like look at this this takes up way too much of your screen I'm going 2 out of 10 it's definitely up there for one of the worst optics in the game for sure and guys I, I can't play with this optic at all. I can't do any more damage with it. Moving on to the Enforcer, the Cairo Enforcer. Solid in my opinion. It's middle of the pack, if not slightly below here. We're putting it at out of 4 out of 10. It could definitely be better for sure. But it's not super bad to where you can't use it. You could definitely use it, but I'm not touching this thing any more than I have to. 4 out of 10. Let's move on. We got the Aggressor IR, another thermal optic here, but it is the white thermal. This one's actually not as bad as the rest, so I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. I'm actually not a, opposed to this scope right here. But moving on here, we got the Schlager Night View. This is a better version of the night vision in my opinion. The, uh, the thermal optics aren't the best. But this one's a better version. I'm going to give this one a 6 out of 10. I would definitely use this, especially in foggy type maps. We got the VX350 Thermal. Another Thermal. We're going back to back with Thermals. This one's probably the worst Thermal, honestly, though. 4 out of 10 on this optic. I hate the way this looks. And the, the black markings on it just is terrible. The Telpo OP3 is up next. This one's pretty decent in my opinion. It's another thermal site. Like I said, we're, we're knocking out the thermals right now. 6 out of 10. Moving on to the first hybrid. This is the Heidenreich hybrid. Another 6 out of 10. This is a very nice optic. It is a hybrid because it lets you zoom in and out. That's what makes it a hybrid. So now we're moving on to the HM5 Precision. It's the HM5 and it is a 5 out of 10 not a big fan of the reticle on it but it does pretty well overall especially on this stg 40 back to a thermal this is the corvus ghost view terrible i hate the way this looks four out of ten you know what three out of ten three out of ten on this thermal optic the black ring around the scope is terrible three out of ten moving on to the dr582 hybrid this was actually pretty decent i'm not gonna lie switching back and forth I actually enjoyed it a lot. 6 out of 10 for this one. Nasty little clip right there where I got to get the switch kill with the hybrid. Love that. 6 out of 10. Fire, honestly. Speaking of fire, we got the hybrid fire point. Not as good. This one's a 4 out of 10. The other reticle is too small. It's way too small. I don't like it. We're giving it a 4 out of 10. This could definitely be better. I, I actually did pretty good with it right here, but not a fan of it. 4 out of 10. Let's move on to the next one. This is the Vortex 90. This one's actually pretty decent for the thermal. It's the, almost the exact same, but a little different, uh, a little bigger. This one, we're going to give it a 5 out of 10. I don't like the way it sways a lot on this optic, but overall, it's pretty solid. 5 out of 10. And then we got the BP240 Hybrid, another solid one. This one's got the optic on the side, so it switches to a sideways shot. 6 out of 10, not too bad. I like, I'm actually enjoying this one, but let's move on to the next one. Here we have the SZ Oscar 9. This is also a hybrid sight, and I'm actually a fan of this. This isn't too bad. Uh, the secondary sight, where it's basically the red dot, is pretty good as well. I love the green dot on it. We're going to give it a 6 out of 10. I actually really like this. Next up, we have the, uh, uh, what is this? The Angel 40. Another hybrid sight where you go from an ACOG to a holographic. I'm not the biggest fans of these types of scopes, especially when they got all the junk on the on the front of it. Like, I'm not a big fan of it. We're going to go 4 out of 10 here. Like I said, it could be worse, 
but we're moving on to another thermal this is the thermal x9 this is honestly just like the uh angel 40 but thermal the thermal is going to give it a little bit of a boost we're going to give that a 5 out of 10 uh like i said not terrible same thing here with another thermal scope this is the telpo clear shot another 6 out of 10 the hybrid optic with the thermal i'm actually enjoying that as an option here in the game and i hope it is also in black ops 6 moving on we have the ftac charlie 7 optic these are going to be starting getting to our long range scopes this one not terrible but you have that lens cap on the side brings it down we're bringing it to a 5 out of 10 the optic itself isn't bad but the way that lens cap takes up so much space you gotta bring it down a little bit here we are with the hmw 20 another long range scope here not terrible in my opinion but it could definitely be better we're gonna give this one a six out of ten i believe yeah six out of ten moving on to the luca bandera this one is one of the better long range scopes we're giving this an eight out of ten i really like this one it's very clean nothing crazy about it eight out of ten for this optic i want more optics like this this is perfect for the long range moving on we got the ds farsight we're going back down here as you can see the the way it's mounted onto the gun not a big fan of and then you got that little side piece on the side it's still not terrible but it's a step down for sure we're gonna go five out of ten i'm not a big fan of the red dot in the middle of the crosshairs personally that's just me so we're giving it a five out of ten moving on to the three times rfl this scope is terrible this is a terrible scope this might be one of the worst scopes in the game it is a thermal sight and look at that terrible it takes up way too much space on your screen this is a two out of ten terrible scope never rocking this scope ever again this is terrible i might do it for a, a video actually you never know but terrible scope we're going on to the drexum prime another thermal scope i hate these purple and like the the red I, i'm not a big fan of it i'm not a big fan of these thermals so it's gonna be a four out of ten if it was any other thermal i think this would be an upgrade like if it was just the straight orange one i think it'd be fire but we're moving on to the aries clear shot this one's pretty solid as well this is gonna be a six out of ten i like the hybrid aspect as as well and then the the red dot's pretty clean as well i, I i'm i'm rocking with it six out of ten now the last scopes that we're doing are going to be strictly for snipers that are unique for snipers so we're going to be using the cat amr here to test out these scopes here we have the raptor fbm 40 solid middle of the pack five out of ten it's got your distance on it which is cool i guess but it's not really what i'm looking for in a sniper scope personally honestly this scope here is terrible i'm not even gonna lie the caro sz hs 800 3 out of 10 i hate i just hate the way this scope looks it, it's just my opinion if you don't like it let me know in the comments below i do not like this scope now the worst scope in modern warfare 3 is the 6.3 carrick scope a 1 out of 10 1 out of 10 you can't see anything bro i mean i guess you could zoom in but dog this scope is terrible like look at this scope and tell me this is viable in today's call of duty this is dog shit i don't know how this got into the game but this is terrible how am i getting kills with it i don't know but god we got to move on to the next one this is the 13x vrs scope not terrible it doesn't feel like a sniper scope but it kind of does at the same time it's super weird i don't know how i feel about it so we're going to be giving it a 4 out of 10. i'm not a big fan of the numbers on the scope lens especially on a sniper dog i'm not a big fan of it so it's going to knock it down from a 5 to a 4 out of 10. but moving on to the signal 50 scope this one's pretty good i'm not gonna lie pretty good i love the signal 50 from last year gotta give this scope some credit this is a 7 out of 10 scope for this i don't know guys 
Personally, I rock the base scopes that come out on the snipers. I feel like those ones are the best ones. I don't really mess with the scopes too much, but that one was pretty solid. Next up, we got the Morris Hexer. The lines are way too thick on the inside of this. Man, the lines are way too thick. It takes up too much of the actual scope itself. I'm not a fan of the style of it either because of that it's bringing it down to a three out of ten i i just hate looking at this scope man i really do the lines are way too thick the scope is kind of small for a sniper i'm not a fan of it three out of ten moving on to the six times short zoom it's very similar to the morris hexer but a little bit better so we're going to be giving it a five out of ten five out of ten seems pretty good so i'm going to stick with that it's not bad but it could definitely be better moving on to an actually better scope the journeyman 32 this one here is a solid 7 out of 10 this one reminds me of the morris or not the morris the car the car scope it's a little bulkier than the car scope so it's going to bring it down a little bit but the reticle is the same so it's a 7 out of 10 and that's pretty good in my book like i said i don't really rock these optics personally but Moving on to the Elkale LR scope. This scope would be perfect if it didn't have the lens cap on the right hand side. This would be a really good scope. Because of that lens cap, it's bringing it down to a 4 out of 10 in my opinion. I just, it takes up too much space, man. The Y2000 ruined scopes in my opinion, and we got another one. Probably my favorite sniper scope in the game. We have the Imperium 12X. This one is a solid 8 out of 10. This is honestly one of the best scopes in the game, especially out of the optics overall. 8 out of 10, great scope, especially for the sniper. Moving on to the Victus 3, 13X. Why did I say 3? This one could be better. 6 out of 10. The ring on the outside of the scope is a little too thick for my liking. So it's going to bring it down a little bit. And for some reason, the recoil is crazy with the scope. So we're going 6 out of 10 for there. And then next up, we have the classic MCPR 300 scope. Obviously, the MCP was one of the more notable snipers last year in MW2. The scope itself was pretty good. I'm not a big fan of the line, so it brings it down a little bit, but it's still a 7 out of 10 scope. It, it's, it's up there. It's really good. We're moving on to the next one, though. Let's get right into it. We got the Heat Source 800, another thermal sight. And honestly, this one's pretty good. I don't know what it is about the way the scope's looking, but I'm digging it. 8 out of 10. I'm digging this, man. I like the thermal. Moving on to the SZ Ultra. Another solid scope. The ring on the outside of the scope's a little thick for my liking. So it's going to bring it down at least one point. But the red cross in the middle is bringing it back up. We're giving it a 7 out of 10. This is very solid scope. Definitely a positive for sure. Moving on, we have the Luca Field 6. I don't like this scope at all. This is actually too much going on. Way too much going on. I do not like this scope. This could, it could be so much better if the outside wasn't so clunky. And ah, four out of ten. Four out of ten on this scope. It had so much potential. But we're moving on to the F Tap Locust. Now this is another solid scope. The ring on the outside is a little thick. Brings it down a little bit, but it's still good. The crosshairs are not too thick. This is exactly what you want for a sniper scope. Whoa, 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 We're giving it a 6 fuck? out of 10. Another solid scope as well. And you got the depth lines. I'm not a big fan, but they are there if you like them. Moving on. The SPX80. Another. This, this is a clean scope. You can't get any better than this in my opinion. This is an 8 out of 10. This is as simple and clean as you can get. I don't know if you can get any more perfect than this. And I got it at an 8 out of 10. Moving on to the Lockman Impact. Another, the rings are way too thick. I don't like that it's black. I don't know what it has to do with the, the crosshairs. Something about it I don't like. We're going 5 out of 10 on that as well. Could be better, but unfortunately it is not. And then here, finally we have the Coreless V for the last scope here in Modern Warfare 3 not bad not bad we're gonna give it a six out of ten let me know what you guys think about these scopes in the comments below
there you have it there is over a hundred optics here in modern warfare 3 and we just used every single one of them and gave it a rating now the top three scopes in my opinion for mw3 you got the jack glassless optic at number one a perfect 10 out of 10 next up you have the mk3 sitting at a 9 out of 10 and then the slate reflector right behind it at 8 out of 10 these are the best three optics in my opinion and god forsaken the worst one is the 6.3 Eric, worst optic probably in Call of Duty history. You can quote me on that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We're giving away a copy of Black Ops 6 at the end of this video. Make sure you subscribe so we hit 600 subscribers. Let's go, boys. It's been your boy Dallas, your Cypress, guys, and I will see you next time.